hi and welcome to next tutorial in today's lesson we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking magnifying glass using adobe illustrator so anyways guys let's jump in so the first thing that we have here is we have a new adobe illustrator document and i'm just going to run with a 1920 by 1080 pixel document doesn't really matter what size and i'm just going to click on create so the next thing that we need to do is we need to import our colors. Now I've just gone to color hunt and I've just downloaded or I've just taken a screenshot of these colors. Now the first thing that we need to do is we need to come over here to the rectangle tool and I'm just going to draw a thin rectangle just like that. And then I'm going to press I on my keyboard for my eyedropper tool and change it to the darkest color. The next thing that you need to do is we're going to grab the selection tool and we're just going to grab these points at the end and then we're just going to drag them up until they are or they until they create that little semicircle at the bottom. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to create a small little notch here which will be a different color and we're going to do that by grabbing the rectangle tool again and I'm just going to make sure that the rectangle tool matches on both sides. And so now it looks a little bit off, but when I go and grab the selection tool and highlight both these shapes, if I can go to align horizontally, and now they're actually put back together. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the color of that small little notch to the second darkest color. So now we have something that looks like that. The next bit that we need to do is we need to create a smaller uh, rectangle and so we're going to just come over here and we are just going to create a smaller rectangle something like that and I'm just going to align that again so I'm going to press on the horizontal align center tool and now I'm just going to change that color again. So now I'm just going to change that color back to the darkest color there and then I'm just going to send that to the back. So I'm going to right click and go to arrange and then I'll just put send to back so it fits behind there. And so now what we need to do is we just need to duplicate this by holding alt and dragging up and then we are going to change the color to this color here. So I'm just going to make another small little notch just like that. And I'm just going to change the color to something like that. So now we've got the base ready for our magnifying glass. So now once we have our base completed, the next thing that we need to do is we need to create our actual uh, ellipse. So the circle part of this uh, magnifying glass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, find my ellipse tool, and then I'm going to find the center of this uh, magnifying glass. And then I'm going to hold Alt and Shift. And then I'm going to draw a circle out. I'm just going to make sure that it goes in a little bit inside that little section over there. So the outside of the circle, I'm probably just going to have it as the darkest color. Then I'm going to make sure that that's selected by pressing the selection tool and then go to object and then path and then go to offset path. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to offset this path by probably about eight pixels. Now, depending on how big your circle is and how thin you want the lines, you can play around with some of these settings. So now I'm going to change that color to maybe the second darkest color and then I'm going to repeat that process again. So again, offset path minus eight pixels and then this time this will be the actual glass screen. So it's going to be a really light white color, something like that. And there we have our magnifying glass. Now the last thing that we need to do to this is to just add some detailing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come over here to my rounded rectangle tool and I'm just going to make sure it's on the same color as the glass and I'm just going to put it in there slightly. So I'm just going to have like a real thin strip just like that and that's it. So that's a very quick tutorial on how to quickly draw a magnifying glass using Adobe Illustrator. We will use this magnifying glass in the next tutorial to create a magnify effect. So stay tuned for that video. So anyways, guys, I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.